Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to start uh, finalizing uh, the last couple of finishes on this scene here. So what I want to do is just change some of these colors of the Fruit Loops so they can better match the reference here. So what I want to do is press Alt H to unhide this uh, Fruit Loop that we have for the original particle. Select it and then go to the shading tab at the top change the renderer from shading mode to the preview and let's start to um, create a blue because we need a blue uh, color so what I'll do is scoot this over select this purple press the plus sign scoot the purple one over and for this middle one I want this to be a bluish till color that's good then we can just make these a little bit more uniformed. That looks good. As well as I want to drag select over all of these nodes, right click and go to copy. So we can go back to the layout. And what I want to do is just hide this. I can hide this original one or I can just use this um, for a, a couple loose fruit loops around the scene. I want at least five or six different ones just to work on the breakup. Cause if you press zero and go back to the camera, you see that it looks a little too plain. We need some breakup here. And what I want to do is just dial this down. So I'll, um, I'll hide this actually. Cause if I downscale this, I just realized these are instances of this. So if I change the scale, the scale will change inside. So let's just hide this underneath the actual backdrop. Press shift D right click to cancel the movement. And we'll just drag this up with the move tool. Now what I want to do is just shift D to duplicate this and I'll just keep creating copies of these. I'll just move these around so they look a little bit more um, stacked in, disoriented. Probably add a couple over here, shift D, right click. So they kind of appear like they've been spilled out of the box shift D and notice they are still um, randomly having different random colors because we have that material added so we may not need to um, actually paste that copy of the nodes that we copied earlier this looks good right about here. Let's add one more in the background. So shift D right there. That looks good. A zero. And um, we can go to cycles to preview this. So let's file save before we do anything. And let's check this out. I know the materials are too close to the ground, they're colliding. So what I want to do is just select them here in the outliner, shift, select them all, and I can just pull them up with the move tool. That looks a lot better. Got some breakup and this is great composition. That's really important when it comes to uh, creating an environment or a scene is the breakup. And we could have followed the rules of thirds, but I think this is good for what we're looking for. So let's file save this once again. Go shading. And if you press F12, we can do a quick render pass on this. All right, guys, so we let the render sit for a bit and here are the results. As you can see, it looks great. There's definitely room for, for improvement, but uh, all in all, this looks really good. It's definitely a result that I expected to hit and I think we hit it pretty well. Um, as far as a couple things that we could do better is uh, the composition. I think uh, the box may be a little too high at the edge here of the crop, as well as um, maybe the reflectivity of the box an actual box is made of cardboard, so it has some breakup detail and a little bit of noise. So we can add that in the next video 
as well as the backdrop, add some reflectivity to that so we can get some highlights and shadows a little bit more uh, defined. So if you guys are enjoying the course so far, give the video a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you guys are uh, you know, learning something. And let's just exit out of this and go to File, Save. And in the next video, we'll complete this 